I'm Dr. Srinivas, VK, Senior Cardiologist, working in uh, Vaidehi Super Speciality Hospital, situated in the heart of Bangalore, uh, catering to the large number of uh, cardiac patients and other specialities. See, the heart attack is a very important condition which is life-threatening. That's one of the most important emergency situations which can arise to anybody. So, if you suspect a person is having an heart attack, the immediate measure is to see that the person is stable. That means you should not put the patient into a person into a panic situation and this panic kills the person. So, immediately the thing is, uh, encourage the person to be calm, relaxed and breathe well, breathe in and out and uh, meanwhile you can organize yourself to, uh, to take him to the nearest hospital. I, I feel that is the best treatment a person can give for an immediate uh, heart attack aid. See the best position a person can be put in is any comfortable position like either in a sitting posture is the best you just make him sit in a chair and in a uh, 90 degrees position and let him continue to take deep and deep breaths and if we ca can cough little bit once or twice in between it is better because these are the methods which will give enough oxygenation and allow the heart rate to be maintained so this is a position of comfortability is important. Don't put the patient on a uh, flat table and make him uh, uncomfortable. So sitting posture and in a uh, breathing on his own deep deep breathing is the best position. So the, uh, the best thing a person can do or a bystanders can do is to put the person in a comfortable position and really i mean uh, to see that he is comfortable from the clothes point if he is wearing the tight dress and he is sweating profusely see that it is all opened up and little and make him uh, and encourage him to uh, be very calm relaxed and breathe well breathe well that is important breathing continuously slowly and deep breathing helps in reducing the pressure i mean improving the circulation as well as preventing the arrhythmic complications and intermittently ask the person to be coughing and if you are able to check his pulse and uh, blood pressure it's fine otherwise at least you can see that pulse is there and person is to be kept conscious he should not be allowed to sleep or uh, get into a panic mode that is most important so the most important is keep him active by simply encouraging him to be uh, breathing, encouraging him to be active. The first thing what anybody can do is, if you suspect an heart attack, is if available, aspirin is a drug. This aspirin is an antiplatelet drug. So uh, the heart attack happens, why? Because of the clot formation. So it's an ac acute clot formation. It's a clot forms within few seconds and this keeps increasing. So the best thing is by preventing the clot formation, you are trying to avoid the extension of the clot. Whatever has formed, it, the aspirin has no role, but it prevents further formation of the clots. So uh, aspirin is a must. If you can uh, give it, nothing like it. See, nitroglycerin is one of the important drug in cardiac uh, medica medications, and that how it acts is by opening up the whatever the arteries are sp going to spasm it opens up so the blood flows freely into that artery so in an acute cardiac situation where there is a chest pain we don't know whether it is due to heart attack or due to the spasm of the arteries or due to clot formation but whatever may be the reason when the nitroglycerin is given in the form of a sublingual that is below the tongue if it is placed it immediately absorbed into the system and within two minutes it acts on the heart arteries of the heart preferably and it opens up the arteries and so the blood flows 
uh, and helps in reducing the intensity of the chest pain. So it is important to uh, consider nitroglycerin in patients with heart attack. See, with the complications are related to the the complications of the drug or side adverse effects of the drug. The aspirin is contraindicated in patients who have any bleeding anywhere. If it may be in the form of acute or the ulceration of the stomach or if they are having uh, intracerebral bleed, the aspirin is contraindicated. So we should be aware of those uh, conditions before we give aspirin. So we have to ask them. Anybody, uh, do you have a gastric ulcer or you have any history of headache associated and if there is headache and vomiting and chest pain then you have to be cautious because it can be related to intracerebral hemorrhage. Nitroglycerin is a drug which uh, uh, opens up the arteries and reduces the blood pressure. So in the process if you are taking nitroglycerin be cautious to sit on the table or anywhere you can and keep the tablet under the tongue so that even if the blood pressure drops, you will not have hypotensive effects. Like this effect can be, can make the person fall down. So yeah, this is the precaution you should take when you are using nitroglycerin. The important thing which they can be done is the avoid panic. The situation should not be, panic situation should not be created. The anxiety of the patient is uh, should be avoided because what kills in an acute MI is the anxiety. The anxiety causes person to secrete the more of adrenaline. This adrenaline acts on the heart muscle, causes arrhythmia and this arrhythmia causes death. So we have to avoid as much as possible, try to keep the patient as cool as possible, make them give them some encouraging words, see that they breathe well and intermittent coughing is necessary. If you can feel the pulse, if the pulse rate is okay, if the pulse volume is good, just bring them to the place where there is enough oxygenation and if possible, if oxygen is available, nothing like it, oxygenation, encouragement and maintenance of the blood pressure is what is needed till you get an emergency service to attend to the person.